Today we got the X01. Took off the shocks. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna lower this bad boy. We got some foam tires. And we're gonna hook up this car so we can do some speed runs. So let's remove the tires. Empty out your shocks here, and once they're all out of juice, I left this overnight. What you're gonna do is let's pull off this shock. Make sure you have gloves on because it's gonna get messy. All right, we're gonna remove the base here, okay? So what I'm gonna use is I don't wanna damage the the, the shaft there, so I'm gonna use a piece of cloth and I'm gonna hold the shaft with my needle nose and then it's gonna be tough but oh my god that is tough hopefully they didn't thread lock that all right i'm gonna try to go without a glove because you do have this little spacer because the only part you don't want it, um this thing to enter that area but hopefully it doesn't damage there you go Perfect. Once it loosens up after that, don't worry about it. It's not going to damage nothing. All right. And this little guy is going to come out. Very simple. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide out the whole uh, shaft here. Pull that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a small piece of this tube here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Cut two of them because you want the same size for the other shot. And make sure you cut them flush, okay? Make sure you cut them flush straight evenly. All right, what we're gonna do now is, you see this has spacers. If you have extra spacers like that, you could use more spacers to put them on. But we're gonna slide this. This is a fuel line of a nitro cars. That's what I'm using there. We're gonna slide this on. And then we're going to push this back through the bore. All right, there you go. And now we need to put this little guy in. So you're only going to have a little bit of absorbing shock there, which is fine. We want to run this for speed run. We don't need. We just need this thing to hug the ground, be nice and firm to the floor. And after that, you do both of them before you put oil. Do them both. Put them back on the car. See the height, okay? If you need to add more tubing, you could cut us another small piece. Add another small piece. All right. So we have that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our spring here and. We're going to put the base in. If you have somebody can help you, that'd be awesome. But it is getting a little slippery. The base is going to be the hardest part here. Putting this base in. It's not going to be so easy. There's not much left in there to work with. And plus that spring, the force of the spring is making it more tough. Alright, I'm going to get this in, then we're going to come back. This, 
and get that in because that's, that's when the spring is going to be easy on you. But check this out. All right, so we got a little bit of absorbing there, but not much. And that's all we want. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this top on. I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. You're not going to see me do that one. And then we're going to put this on the car and check it out how low the recoil is. Okay, I also hardened up the body. As you can see, the carbon fiber here is drying up. Using this material is going to crack up the paint on your body a little bit, but it's all up to you. And we did cut the back end of the body. As you can see, the back end is cut, but this is drying. But let's go take a look at our X01, which is sitting right here. All right, so I finished out everything, the oil's in there. So you do need to take off this few times, okay? The reason is because it's not gonna um, be perfect the first time. You might have to add more uh, spacing to it, the tubing, but it's pretty much halfway down. Look at the back end, it's more higher than the front, and that's about it, okay? And it's pretty stiff, hopefully it doesn't airborne. So this is the material I used. It's gonna come with this little guy right here too hard on the body so it's pretty it's gonna make it pretty strong but anyways thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share and like and hopefully you like this video and if you want to do this kind of mod to your car for speed run you can do it one for the front we got the splitter on the wheels foam tires and the rear end is gonna be high so it's gonna give a little bit of aerodynamic from the front low the rear end high so the whole point is to uh, make it aerodynamic so this vehicle does not flip. I know these go airborne. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of work with the shocks. The back ones, all we're gonna do is adjust them. And I did change the pinion there. We got the high speed pinion. So let's take a look at what we're gonna do. Also harden up the body, put spaces in the shocks. 